In the Agadah we said, right in the beginning of the Agadah we said two things that are contradicting themselves. In this, we're starting off Halachmania and we say, Hashata Hachavde, right now we are slaves. Lashana Ba Be'arad Israel Benechurin. Next year we hope and we pray and we wish that next year we'll be free. You know, it's Israel. But right now we're enslaved. How are we enslaved? I don't see anybody's enslaved. Sla slavery is already illegal. How are we enslaved? But you continue the Agadah right away in the beginning, as it says, Avadim ainu lefaro be Mitzrayim. We used to be slaves, we're not slaves now. In Mitzrayim, in Leparo, we were slaves. Ve'otzienu Adonai Eloheinu misham, be'ad chazeka v'zroa netuya. Ve'ilu lo otzi HaKadosh Baruch Hu et avotenu mimitzrayim, if He wouldn't redeem us, He wouldn't take us out of Mitzrayim, adayin anachnu vanenu vne vanenu meshubadim, ha'inu leparo b'mitzrayim. We were still slaves up to today for paro in Mitzrayim. How is that possible? Again, slavery is illegal, you don't find slaves, maybe in some countries in the world they still have slaves, but Throughout almost the entire world, there's no more slaves. How do we say that we would be slaves? Anachnu, we would be slaves. Uvanenu, uvnevanenu. It's already telling you the future, how we would be and how we're children and grandchildren. And how is it not contradicting the beginning that we said that we are still slaves. So we are free or we are slaves? So we like to say the following. We need to understand that there's different kinds of slavery. There's what, one type of slavery that you're actually picking up bricks and putting them on pyramids and building pitom and building Ramses and working and working and working and doing as your master commands you to do. These are one type of slaves. This is called Shibuda Guf. Then there's another shi'ibud, another slavery, which is much worse. And that is shi'ibud nefesh a person that is enslaved and he can't think freely. He's told and he's commanded of how to think. His thinking is shaped by those that are enslaving him, by the master. He tells him how to think. And this is a much worse slavery. And Am Israel almost were... Slaves, uh, slaves of the soul, slaves of the thought, slaves of the, slaves of the mind forever and ever. How is that possible? There were 49, there were in 49 Sha'aret Tumah, one more, they would not be able to escape and get out of it. Why is that? Because sometimes a person reaches the point of no return, that even though you free him physically, a person still is enslaved mode forever. And there are people in the world that you can see that they are in slave mode forever. And therefore, Am Israel were in danger of having such a mode. And if not that HaKadosh Baruch Hu would take us out, we would still be like that forever. But since HaKadosh Baruch Hu took us out, it's a beautiful thing. Am Israel could go through a holocaust. A holocaust. You know what it means? If a person went through a trauma in his life, he can't operate afterwards. A real trauma, he can't operate. He's forever broken. He can't do anything. He can't accomplish. You ask him to build a family, it doesn't work. You ask him to build a business, it doesn't work. Am Israel came out of this, the, 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 the horrific Holocaust, broken up people, and with no time, no time, in three years, they were able to build a country, to to, to conquer the place, to conquer more land. They were able to defeat many Arab countries around that were well armed. They're coming to destroy them. They were able to build from there one of the biggest economy, wealth country in the world. They are the, the, the biggest entrepreneur in the world is the land of Israel right now, and the country of Israel, in every field, they're excelling. In, it's unbelievable. Even the very latest, the very latest vaccine was, who's the head of that vaccine? 
is a is a son of a Holocaust survivor. He, they killed his entire family, except his parents that were able to, after so many turbulence, escape. And he himself is the head of the vaccine that saved so many people around the world. And so on and so forth. The Jewish people went from Bira Amikta Le'igar How is that possible? They didn't do it only now, they did it also when they came out of Mitzrayim. Within no time, they were already up to so many Sha'arei Kedushah that they were able to receive the Torah. That's what we're saying here. Ilu lo tziya kadosh baruchu otanu mimitzrayim, et avotenu mitzrayim. Adayin, anachnu vanenu vle vanenu meshubadim, ainu leparo mimitzrayim, not shibud aguf, not bricks, in Pitom Meram says. Shibuda, shibud of the mind. It's a slavery, slavery of the mind. It's much worse. But the Haggadah starts off and say, don't still feel so rejoiced and happy. We are still enslaved. <laughs> what kind of slavery is that? That's a third kind of slavery. And that is Shibud Malchuyot. Am Yisrael is still not free. We still have consistently, Bechol dor vador omdim alenu lechalotenu. Even in our generation, umdim alenu lechalotenu. That's a, that's, that's the way it works. That the way, that's called Shibud Malchuyot. And the Rambam writes in the end of Ilchot Melachim that our, the wish of our rabbis and our forefathers were always that Mashiach should come for one thing. Why, why do we need Mashiach, says the Rambam? Just for the fact that we'll be able to learn Torah without Shibud Malchuyot. That's all. Right now it's so hard to learn Torah because you have, you know, you have constantly people attacking here. Just yesterday, a Jew was slashed in, in New York. Him, his wife, his, his little kid, a, a, a one is old. It's unbelievable the horrific things that, that wow. go around the world. But this is called Shibud Malchuyot. That's what we're saying. Hashatah Avde. We still have Shibud Malchuyot. We're still slaves to Shibud Malchuyot. The Shana Ba'a, Be'ezrat Hashem, Be'arad Yisrael, Be'nei Chorin, will be free from. Everything that we, we, we said, including Shibud Malchuyot. Thank you.